So hello and welcome everyone. My name is Yadal Sanya, and in this video, we are going to solve the problem: construct a binary tree from parent array. It's a question that is part of binary tree, and the question is quite interesting to solve, but it's not that difficult. Okay, so if you know basic binary tree, then I guess you will be able to solve this question. So without wasting any further time, let's try to uh, read the problem statement and solve this question. Right. So here, let's first of all read the problem statement. here the problem statement is saying that you will be given a parent array that is used to represent a tree okay the array indices zero based indexes are values of the tree nodes and the parent of i denotes the parent of the particular node okay so let's not get into the problem statement i will start with the example one and explain the entire question so in the example number 1 we are given an array that is called parent array so what the question is saying so the question is saying that you will be given an input array okay something like this and uh, there are some values filled inside it 0 0 1 1 3 5 5 and here these are the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so now with the help of this array you are supposed to generate a binary tree okay so the name of this array is called the parent array so here where are the nodes and where are the who is the parent so basically the index value this suggests the nodes it says zeroth node and what is its parent it is minus 1 node number 1 who is its parent 0 node number 2 who is its parent 0 node number 3 who is its parent 1 so the value at any position denotes the parent node of that particular node okay and we can see for 0 there is minus 1 so it suggests that for 0 you don't have any parent and remember in which node you don't have any parent okay inside binary tree for which node you don't have any parent yes for the root node you don't have any parent so wherever you see for any index the value is minus 1 that node is basically the root node okay so now let's say to construct a binary tree out of it so here it says zero is the root node so this is my root node okay so now let's see the next node next node is what node number 1 node 1's parent is what zero so basically where to append this node number 1 we have two empty positions for the node number 0 we have the left child and we have the right child so one will be the left child or the right right child so in the question it has been mentioned that focus on the ordering of the integers we can see that two is also having parent 0 and one is also having parent 0 so whoever comes first will become the left child so here we can see one comes first so one will be the left child of 0 so place one over here now move forward two it has got parent 0 so now we know left child is already there so right child will become 2 now 3 3 knows its parent is what 1 and now we know that it it will be the left child because it appears first now next node is what 4 now 4 is having parent 1 it will become its right child now next node is what 5 5 has its parent 3 we know that left position is empty so you will append 5 at the left position now next node is what 6 6 has got parent 5 so you will say 6 your parent is 5 and you will append 6 as the left child of 5 so this is the binary tree that you have generated and now you are supposed to return this root node from the function so that is what the question is trying to say okay so let's take one more example to make it more clear i have taken the example number 2 given with the question so now here we have the array something like this it says 2 0 and -1 now the nodes are 0 1 and 2 and this is called the parent array and you can change the name as well i'll call this as arr instead of parent array okay so here are the nodes and arr of i denotes the parent of that particular node so remember one thing right for any index the value is minus 1 that means that node is the root node so here which is the root node 2 is the root node okay fine we have the left child and we have the right child now start the iteration so 0 0 is having parent 2 right so we know that left position of 2 is empty so 0 will be placed at, as the left child of 2 now the next node is what 1 it is having parent 0 okay so 0 is having both the positions empty left and right child so we'll start with the left child and we'll place 1 as the left child of 0 and we'll move forward we know that this is 2 and 2 is not having any parent and this suggests that it is the root node okay and we are supposed to return the root of this parent so the question statement is quite easy to understand not that complex okay so i hope you understood the problem statement so now we can focus on submitting and focus on brainstorming the approach right so let's try to think how we can solve it 
So I'll take the first example and explain the approach how we can solve it. So here basically based on the simple array. Okay, so here basically given the parent array, okay, given the input array, you cannot directly iterate over this parent array and generate the so called binary tree. Because see in the binary tree, you know that you cannot traverse from root to the leaf position. So it is not possible to traverse from root to leaf position. Right. So what does it mean? So I'm trying to say, let, let's say this is your binary tree, something like this. Okay. So now they are saying that this is the node and who is its parent? They are saying that, let's say this is three comma one. So somewhere, let's say you will be having one over here and they are saying there is a node three and its parent is one. So how will you get to know the reference of node number one? There is no way of traversing backwards in a binary tree, right? You can only traverse from root to the any other nodes. So here you need to keep the reference of each and every node stored in some data structure. Okay. So what I will do, I will store the references of each and every node and I will keep the left child and right child as null initially. And then based on this input array, I will try to populate the left and the right child of any parent node. Okay. Now what data structure we will be using? We will be simply using an array. Okay, array will also work and you can also go with so called hash map. If you uh, are thinking about hash map approach, then also it's perfectly fine. Okay, so now imagine that this is a new array which I have created and it stores the references of every node. Okay, so you have to con construct this entire array and I will call this array as nodes array that stores basically the nodes. So here there will be nodes, the actual nodes that you are supposed to use inside the binary tree. Okay. And along with this, in order to return the answer, I will keep a node reference that is called root. Initially it will be what null. And whenever I see any index having value zero or any index having value minus one, I will update this root reference. Okay. So now initially this nodes value is empty. Every value will be having null. So I will initialize every position with a node. I'll create a node with its own index. So at zeroth index, I'll create a node called a zero. At index one, a node one will be created. At index two, a node two will be created. Index three, four, five, and six. So these are the nodes that have been created. Now start the iteration. Okay, so starting the iteration. So whenever you are at the ith index, you have to suppose to identify the current node and its parent. Okay, so. I will have two variables. Let's call one variable as the parent and one variable as the current node. So here at the ith position, when your i equals to zero, who is parent and who is the uh, node? So index indicates the node. So here, whatever is the value of i, i is equivalent to zero. So node becomes zero. So node becomes zero. Okay. And who is its parent is minus one. So parent is minus one. So whenever you see a parent of any node is minus one, this signifies the current is your root node. So here I will update the reference. Okay. I will take the reference from the nodes array and I will copy this reference from the nodes array that this is the node, which is our root node. I'll copy it and I'll place it inside the reference root. Okay. Then we'll move forward. We don't need to do anything for the root position. Your I will be now equivalent to one. So now we are talking about this index. So what is the node? Node is one. What is its parent? Parent is what? Zero. So you will fetch this references from the nodes array. Okay. You will fetch the references from nodes array. If I write down in terms of nodes array, it will be nodes of array of i because array of i is the parent of ith node and its reference is given by the nodes array. Now current node is what? i represents the current node, but I need the reference. So I will access it from the nodes array. Okay. So now here, what is the parent? So now parent becomes zero and current node is one. Okay. So parent is zero and its current node is one. So what I will do, I will basically check the left child of zero. Is it null? Yes. Left child of zero is null. So I'll append one as the left child. Okay. Then you will move forward. So moving on forward, your I value will be increased by one. So your I will be now equivalent to what? Two. So here, what is the parent? What is the parent and what is the current node? Current node is two, parent is zero. Okay. So this is your parent and current node is two. Okay. So now you will first of all check the left child. Is the left child null of zero? No, it is not null. So you will append this two as the right child of zero. So you'll append two over here and then you will move forward. So on moving forward, I value will get increased. I will be equivalent to three. So next 
is this. So what is the node? Node is three and the parent is what? One, one is the parent. So this is the parent and the node is three, which is already created by this nodes array. So now first of all, check the left child of one. Is it null? Yes, it is null. So three will become the left child of one or its parent. Okay. Now moving on forward with the next node. So I will get increased. I is equivalent to four. And we are talking about this node. So what is the node? Node is four. Its parent is what? One. Okay. So node four is already created. The parent is one. So check the left child of one. Is it null? No, it is not null. So four bec will become the right child of one. So four becomes the right child of one. Okay. So moving on forward, I value will be increased. I will be what? It will be equivalent to five. So five over here. Node is five. Its parent is three. So node five will be created somewhere with the help of nodes array. You will get the node five. Now check the left child of three. Is it null? Yes, it is null. So five will become the left child of three. Okay, moving on forward, I value will be increased. And what is the uh, current node? Current node is six and its parent is five. So node five is uh, this node and the node number six. So node six will be already created by the nodes array. Now check the left child of five. Is it null? Yes, it is null. So five will have the left child six and that's it. And at the end, you're supposed to return the reference of the root which you have stored inside the variable. Okay, so here basically everything the references will be stored in a data structure. You can use a map over here or you can use a simple array as well to store the references and just fetch the values based on this scenario. Take some I value, fetch the node value and fetch the parent value in this manner and keep on updating the left and the right child of parent. So I hope you understood the approach and if you have understood the approach, then now it's time to code this approach. Let's try to see the implementation part of it. So here is the create tree function that you are supposed to complete and I have changed the name of the argument as ARR because it makes much sense compared to parent. Okay, so here I have changed it to ARR. Now I have taken the length and now I have created a nodes array where the size is n because there are n number of nodes. Everything will be initialized with null. So I will update with the node. I have created at every index a node has been created with the index value. For i equals to 1 a node will be created with zero value. For i equals to one, a node will be created with node number one and placed at the index number one. Okay, now I have taken a root that will be the root node. Its reference is initially null. Then start the iteration. Okay, and whenever you see for any ith node, the uh, value of array of i is equal to null that, is, that indicates the root node. So you will update the root. You will go to the nodes array at the ith index, fetch the node value and put it inside the root variable and then continue. If the ith node is not root node, then what you will do? You will fetch the parent. So what is parent of i? It is array of i. But I need the node. So inside the nodes array, at array of i, you will find the reference of the node. Okay, and what is the current node? i is the current node. But I need the node value. So inside nodes array, at ith position, I'll get the node value. Okay, then I'll check first of all the left child of parent. Is it null? Yes, if it is null, then you will put the current as the left child of parent. If the left child is not null, then you will check else if, if the right child is null, then put current as the right child of parent and that's it. Keep on doing this for each and every index or each and every node and then at the end just return the value of root node. So that's it. And now let's say to submit this approach. And we can see that the problem has been successfully submitted. So if we try to analyze the time and space complexity of this approach, we can observe that we have created an extra array. So that is nodes array. Okay, so it is taking space equivalent to number of uh, number of elements or number of nodes. So the space complexity is order of n in this scenario. And what about the time complexity? So time complexity here you can see n iteration and here also you can see n iteration. So the time complexity for the entire code comes out to be order of n. So time and space is what order of n for this solution. So I hope you understood everything about the construct binary tree from parent array. And uh, if you find this video interesting and if the solution was helpful, then do hit the like button and share down your approaches in the comment section below. So that was it for in this video. I will be meeting you in the next video. Till then keep coding and thank you for watching.